everyone, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about some of my summer reading plans. So essentially I have a bunch of buddy reads, I have some readathons happening, I have some just books and arcs I would need to get to so we're going to talk about all of that in this video. I tried filming this before and it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to so we are refilming it but Essentially in July, I'm going to be participating in the reading rush, which I'll have all the info for that down below. I'm just gonna kind of match up some of the books that are on my TBR with the challenges. Like I'm not gonna be super specific. I usually am not, but if you wanna add me on the reading rush like website, I'll have my little thing in the corner. Um, feel free to add me. I'd love to be friends on there. I'm planning on doing daily vlogs. I do them every year. I've done them for the past three years. I am so excited about this. If you guys have ever watched my old booktubeathon vlogs, I take booktubeathon as like a big challenge for me. So like I love winning. So obviously the reading rush used to be booktubeathon. Now it's called The Reading Rush. So yeah, if you guys wanna join, def you definitely should. It's so much fun. I'm excited for video challenges and stuff like that. So in terms of readathons for August, there is two that I'm going to be taking part in as of now that I don't really wanna talk about until later I'll post probably um, a separate TBR for those. First up here, I have Slay by Brittany Morris. Now about this one is it's about a 17 year old who is a person of color and she is into gaming and it's like a society of black gamers. That's what I've mainly heard about this one. Got this one at BookCon, so I'm looking forward to picking it up. I've heard really good things about it and yeah, I think it'll be really interesting. This one does come out in September, so if you're interested, keep your eyes peeled for it. The next one I have here that comes out in November is Winterwood by Shanae Earnshaw or Shay Earnshaw. Wow. Basically, this is like a sequel slash companion to The Wicked Deep. It'll be witchy, atmospheric, foresty, all the things that I love. I did quite like The Wicked Deep when I read it, so I'm excited to get to this one and see what I think of it and if it lives up to The Wicked Deep or maybe if I like it more. We'll, we'll see. It actually comes out in August, so this is Doomsday by Katie Henry. I love this author's book, Heretics Anonymous. I absolutely love that book. It's one of my favorites of last year. So I am highly anticipating this. So I need to read this. I don't know why I've been putting it off. Two girls in this book, one who is in extreme fear about the world ending. And it's just like one of her biggest fears is like, doomsday and the world ending. Follow Hannah who knows when the world's gonna end, how it's gonna end and stuff like that. And the two meet up and they meet in a therapist's waiting room I believe and they start talking and I don't know. I think it's a really interesting concept and I really like Katie Henry's writing. There's always a bit of humor in there so I'm looking forward to this one. The book actually already came out. It came out in March and this is Dig by A.S. King. I've been really struggling to explain this one but basically from my knowledge it's about the shoveler the freak, can I help you, flea circus Loretta and first class Malcolm. Dig is the story of five teenagers buried in their family's tangled secrets and it's about potatoes. I know. <laughs> I've never read an A.S. King, but like Books and Lala talks highly about it, so we are going to do that. This one I also don't know how to explain that well, but this is My Life as an Ice Cream Sandwich by E.B. Zaboy. What I really know about this one is that it follows a young girl and it's middle grade, which is cool. It takes place in 1994 and it's like one of about one of the first black engineers and like NASA and stuff, science fiction-y. This book comes out, when did I say, in August, and it has these little graphic novel bits in it as well, which I think is really cool. So these are probably going to be probably in color in the final copy, but there's some graphic novel bits throughout it. And yeah, I'm really interested to see what this one's all about. And I've never read from E.B. Zaboy before. I know this author wrote American Street and like a few, another, another book too recently. So yeah, I'm excited to read this. The book that I just want to get to is a poetry collection. And this one is Between You and These Bones. And this is by F.D. Soul. I'm not too sure what it's about. I was sent it by Andrews McMill Publishing. They send me poetry collections all the time. I love them. I always read them. Like I don't love all of them, but like I love so many of the ones that I get from them. And I love receiving poetry collections because I read them all the time. But I'm excited for this one. And it, it looks like it's like a really simple one. It has a few illustrations in there. Um, so yeah. I'm probably gonna read this. I'll let you guys know my thoughts in like a recent read soon. This one was almost purely a cover buy and because it's like a UK copy and I really wanted it. <laughs> but this is called Happy Girl Lucky and this is by Holly Small. Also, this author also wrote Geek Girl, which I've seen floating around a little bit and heard people some, some people talk about. But this, they had this little UK copy with these edges at my bookstore and it was only like $10 because, you know, cheap. Like UK books, are only like 10 bucks here, $10 Canadian. And I'm like, ooh, okay, need that. So I picked this up because I've heard of the author and it just looked really intriguing. So I read the back and basically they don't tell you much about the story at all. Like it's a very, a little blurb, but it's about these three girls and they have hypo, like everything, but like 
like all the superficial stuff, fame, money, success, um, stuff like that. So they think they have it all, but some of them realize that they want love and that not everything is like the movies in terms of romance and but they're like val the valentines so they're like probably this rich family so i don't really know but i think it's just gonna be a summer romance kind of thing and honestly it's it's beautiful i usually don't buy cover buys but this one is so nice like hello when i think a lot of people are gonna be really excited that i'm reading but this is a radio silence by alice oseman i just finished my four years of high school and i'm going into university so i'm in that two month transition period between high school and university. So I heard this is a really fantastic book to read at that time specifically as well, that it will be really relatable to me. And I know it's about a podcast that deals with mental health, I believe. And I've just heard it's an absolutely amazing contemporary. I love me some contemporary, so I'm really excited. I think it's more of a dark contemporary as opposed to like light and fluffy. But yeah, a lot of people love this book, including Yasmin and Kat from Paperback Dreams. So I'm really excited to read this off of their recommendation as well. Next up here, I have a Casey West because it is the summer. Gotta read a Casey West. So I have Love Life in the list. And this is basically about a girl who's like art is not expressive enough or doesn't have enough substance to it. So she gets this bucket list and thinks all these things that she wants to do and to learn and to experience to make her art better. And I just love these kind of list books, bucket list books. So I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's cute and I hope it's a good time. And the romance I hope is cute as well. So yeah. The two buddy reads that I have for July and August, one of them is for the reading rush and that is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is about a girl named Imani. This follows her as she is a teen mom and also has a great passion for the culinary arts. So I'm really interested to read this one. I quite enjoyed The Poet X when I read it last year. So I've had this arc for like a little bit and I've been meaning to read it and it's finally out now. So like I have to read it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm reading this with Chanel from Chanel Time. I'm so excited. I love her. I'm so excited to read a book with her and talk about it and stuff like that. So this will be for the reading rush at some point. I'll do it from one of the challenges. I don't know, probably the purple one. Right here I have Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky. I'm going to be reading this with Jesse from Bowties and Books and I'm so excited to read this with them. Jesse's channel so much and they are like such a great person so I'm super excited to do a buddy read with Jesse. This book is Stephen Chbosky's new book and this comes out in October which makes sense. So this is actually an adult horror book as opposed to Perks of Being a Wallflower which was a YA contemporary. This is an adult horror book. I'm really excited to read this. The part about this one is that it's about this boy who like goes missing for a while and then he comes back and he's like a different person and like he's completely different and he has this imaginary friend so I don't know if that's going to be a psychological thing like um schizophrenia, delusions, hallucinations type of thing or if it's going to be like a paranormal thing so I'm interested to see which direction they're going to go in for that. I also just love horror novels so I'm really excited for this one. There you guys have it. Those are the books that I plan to read this summer. Again, I will have probably a few more, like one more TBR going up at some point in August just for the two readathons that are happening in August that I will be participating in. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you don't mind a TBR video because I'm just really excited to read these and I want to talk about them with you all, I'll announce some of my buddy reads and announce that I am doing the reading rush. So yes. Already you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and everything like that is down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. I would really appreciate it and subscribe down below. I also have a Patreon, so if you want to support me on another platform, that is always linked in the description box as well. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some channel revamps, so like hopefully I'm gonna be getting some new things happening here and my channel is going to change a lot in the next few months just because I am moving. The background's gonna change, which I don't know how that's gonna go, but in all, some things are going to be switching up a little bit and I'm excited to get out more content for you guys and some different content as well. So yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you super soon. Bye! Uh,